Biodynamic and organic wines from the Loire Valley in France. The Loire Valley is to the southeast of Paris. It is a very fertile area with much agriculture. Biodynamie! This is the river that bears the name of the Loire Valley. There are many canals and you can boat down it. It is also full of chateaus and pays much homage to Joan of Arc who fought all of her crusades here. The use of pesticides in winemaking is dangerous because it ruins the soil and the surrounding area, killing insects, flowers, and everything beautiful about a vineyard. Biodynamic wine practices, however, change that. Use compost, build the soil, working with spirits, life forces, planets, and other things to change the dynamics of the vineyard. Hence the flowers you see here that you didn't see in the other ones. First we go to Amblois. Here, this is the vineyards of Lagrange Tiffon. It is a lovely husband and wife couple. These are their horses and they plow their vineyards with that and they only grow native grapes and they do it all biodynamic and organically. This is a concrete vat and these are the barrels in which it is aged in. And they keep the vineyard flowing beautifully together and their neighbors all make cheese and meat so we had to have a snack. Next we go to Cote de Leon Rabelais. This is the vineyards of Les Sablonettes. This land has been farmed in the family for four generations, and they continue to do it in the way that their great-grandfather Auguste did. As you can see, uh, the grass is green, everything's fertile, it's a lovely little ecosystem. Those are the trimmings in the buckets, because they had just trimmed the vines. That's the grandfather's old car that they haven't removed yet. And this is the old uh, grape crush press. These are vines, old vines that they used to heat. And these are some of their wines. This is Jeremy showing us the wines. He is the son of the people who started to market them outside of France. And this pays homage to Auguste, the great great grandfather. And of course, another picnic lunch with goat cheese. And this is a bit of a trip through Anjou. On the other side of the road is where they grow the pears with the namesake Anjou. And as you can see, some of these vineyards are not as lovely and happy as the others. You can tell by the brown grass around their roots. Next, we move to Sancerre. Sancerre is famous for Sauvignon Blanc, and as with most famous regions in France, is prone to use a lot of chemicals on the land. Sancerre is high up on a hill, and it is standout because of its flinty ground. As you can see, that is all flint, and the grapes grow up through it, giving it very mineral characteristics. That is the village of Sancerre from the other mountain. And again, as you can see, the ground is all littered with white, this is a house uh, that you can rent should you be lucky enough to stay in the vineyard. This is an artist rendition.